Did you know that men go through their version of menopause called andropause? But it starts at age 30. They develop a cluster of symptoms called irritable male syndrome. I'm going to do my best to explain this without irritable ceramide showing up, but she's right that your testosterone levels do begin to drop from 30 and sometimes even earlier. But what significance does that have? And is andropause worth treating? Let's talk about it. I say that because the male hormone decline is very gradual, giving the body time to adjust, meaning that some men develop symptoms and some do not. And these can include irritability, yes, but also low mood, low energy levels, sexual dysfunction, including poor libido and erectile dysfunction. But the strength of evidence for replacing male hormones to remove those symptoms and help their long-term outcomes is much weaker than for female menopause. I should probably also mention that irritable male syndrome tends to not be used to describe human males, but soy rams. Have you experienced it? 